Hi everyone, I'm Holly with Missouri River Soap and I'm packing some orders today from the October release. Um, about halfway into my order packing, some of the um, ones that I do on video are requests, so I pull them from here, there, and film when I can. But they're not all requests, some are just what I'm fixing to pack today. So I have a regional B because this is a pretty big order, and I have my paper wrap already. I'm trying to help myself out. These can be a real bear to edit as I'm walking off screen so much to get all this prep. So I'm trying to make it a little bit easier on myself here. I'm going with the craft again this time because it's still a fall release but my holiday stuff is all in and it's beautiful and that's going to be fun too. Really looking forward to it. I thought I was going to be clever and fold it just in a little bit, but it's being stubborn. Okay. I think I need to get some of those office clips. Ooh, you know what? I have something else that would work. Hold on. Alrighty, so I think I'm going to try to pack up mostly the scrubs and the wax into this one and then I may do one of just bath bombs, so we'll see. So we have Figgy Cream Sugared Whipped Soap Scrub with this release and this customer ordered three of those. I mentioned that now is a good time to stock up for the holidays if you're intending to give our products as gifts because I'm so focused right now on holiday products that I really don't foresee I'm going to have a lot of restocks coming up until next year. But we'll see. I'm not saying I'm not going to have any. I'm just saying that a lot of the stuff that's available now, now is the time to get it. We also have some coffee bean ice cream scrub. And we have three of those. I can pretty much come to the edge with these. So let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. So now let's see what we have. We have three apple cinnamon soy wax melts. I'm going to tuck these in here. And let's see what else we have. I do believe I have, yes, over here, campfire. Marshmallow. This is just a very fire, um, smoky marshmallow scent. It's it's milder than some I've used before, so I think it's a really good one. If you don't like overly smoky, but you kind of like that smoky um, vibe, it's not hot. Um, it's not strong on the amber, so that might be of interest to you. I did the sunflower a little bit different with this release instead of the individual sunflowers. I made them into the clamshells. And let's see, oh, we have a couple of soaps. We have Calenda La Carrot, which is back with this release, and Garden Mint and Tea Tree is on its way out, sold out now. I, I know a lot of people like it, but it was a really slow seller, so we'll see. We'll see how that one comes back. And then we have the pumpkin souffle bunt soy wax melts. Now wax melts are to be put in an electric wax warmer. They melt and then they release the scent into the air. It's kind of like a candle tart, like what Yankee has or Scentsy has. So I have four of those. I'm going to put a little shred down here. And I think I will tuck a couple right here. Um, this customer is fairly close to me. Yep, in Tennessee. So the regional is a good box for me to work with. And if I have to break it into two, that'll be okay because I have um, added insurance and signature confirmations and all of that. So breaking it into two can also be a little better cost-wise. 
I had not brought over my bakery um, food pickup sheets. It's kind of like you would use if you were getting a donut. And I just have these left over and I've been trying to utilize them by, and I don't always, but covering up the window sometimes so that um, the shred doesn't get into it. I have not been the best at doing it with every single one. It's a new habit that I'm trying to form when applicable. That's my word of the day, I think, is applicable. <laughs> okay. So I'm feeling mighty awesome about this box. I really kind of like it how it is. Most of the rest here are solid bath bombs. And the way I pack those, I really do think I'm going to prefer to send them separately in a big box just like this. There's really not enough room. I debated doing UPS, um, but again, I find that to add like a confirmation sometimes can be a little bit too expensive. I know a lot of people like Amazon, they ship high high value packages and they don't ask for a signature and that's cool and all, but small businesses have to protect themselves just a little bit more than that, especially because mail and such has been, um, and the UPS also, really having troubles with package theft. And so that's just something that, you know, can be really hard on us, especially when we have specialized goodies that aren't here all the time and I just can't easily replace it if something happens. Now that being said, if you're concerned about your location and package theft is a possibility or has happened before, please ask me to put a delivery confirmation, signature confirmation on it because that will protect the package from just being left. Now you may have to go get it at the post office, so that's another thing, but everything 100 and up, I do go ahead and slap that signature confirmation on. It's just something we gotta do. If you want to waive it, that's fine. And then just kind of free us from that responsibility. Just let me know that too. So we have some cinnamon vanilla little star wax melts. Those turned out so cute. And I don't have a lot of other things to send in the wax department as of yet. Let's see what we got going on for soap. She did two very natural soaps. I think what I will do, if I can find it, I think I'll put in a banana buttermilk. It's an unscented one. And just super duper delightful. Okay. Yes, let's do this. So I'm probably going to have to go print some more, a couple another set of the invoice because this is kind of a mishmash back and forth so I want to make sure the customer understands that I know what went into this particular one. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my little gift baggies, cute little pumpkins on it and just the same tea and candy corn as the last release and I'm gonna go ahead and put the invoice in like that I'm running quite low on business cards. I did not foresee that happening, so I'm trying to only send them with new customer orders at the moment. I usually do something special for the holidays, so we'll see. Go ahead and get those designed. So my sticker for this month, just super cute. It's very of like the train, the pumpkins, and I tell you right now we have all our walnut trees are bare, but all the other trees have their leaves still. And it's just kind of spooky looking with all the, um, oh, looks like I'm gonna need more, shoot. Anyway, it's just kind of spooky and 
don't know, creepy with all the spiders and such in the country right now. Alright. Get this all folded up and taped up. And then I'll be back to pack the second one. I'm so pleased with this paper wrap. It has been so good. And it's very fulfilling. I really enjoy it. But I am still on. I bought the backup before my last release. And I'm actually still on my first roll, which I don't foresee running out with this release. I might also take a peek. Um, but I have packed hundreds of orders with this one roll. Now, if that had been bubble wrap, I would have probably been through three solid huge rolls. And so it just comes in this little box. And I'm going to try to take a picture for you and insert it so you can see what it looks like. But it has just been the best stuff. I love it. It does come with a little roll of also a thin white that if you're just, and it feeds with it if you want it to. I don't have it set up that way. Um, so that you pull it and as you're wrapping and rolling and keeping it taut, that is a protection for the product even further. Especially if it's something you don't want um, this texture to bother. In this little shred, I have with this release some purple and some orange. I do have some yellow, but I guess I didn't really get it mixed into this particular um, batch and some green. I just have been buying the, um, well, I don't know where I'm going with the box. I've just been buying the craft in bulk and then the other colors in just smaller amounts. Alrighty, so for this um, release, we have new Snow Kissed, which is my winter candy apple type. And we have Figgy Cream Bath Bomb. I'm probably going to change the design on this. This was just of, I've been obsessed with this scent and I wanted to get it made. And I thought pink and gold would be nice. But I'm going to probably change that a little bit. Anyway, this was a figgy cream. I love how it turned out. And then the wild elderberry. Now, I'm totally cool with bath bombs not having a bunch of painting. I think it looks cool and I'm going to do it and I have done it. Um, I guess I'm kind of okay without it, with it not just being crazy, if that makes sense. Like more subtle and not overly painted. So that's what I decided I'm doing for now. And I guess you'll have to tell me, do you want a bunch of glitter shimmer in your bath water? Because while I think those are beautiful, I wouldn't want to bathe in that myself. Have color and shimmer going in who knows what orifices, you know, if I may say that. And I don't know. I do like the idea of lightly colored water and a foamy bath just so that, you know, you have a little layer of protection there. But as far as the rest goes, you're just going to have to tell me if that's something you like. Do we need to have like shimmer bombs and glitter bombs? I know Lush uses a lot of shimmer and glitter and it does make beautiful bath art but I feel like bath art's not necessarily what we're going for here we're going for a luxurious delightful bath experience but you're gonna have to tell me because I'm gonna do mostly what you want I still do mostly what I want but I try to fit in mostly what you want too So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get another layer in there. Alright, now we've, so we have the three figgy and four 
snow kissed and now we have five wild elderberry now the wild elderberry is kind of a it's not misleading because i say it but wild elderberry in this particular instance smells a lot like grape candy to me so it's super fun i guess i cut this from a different one these are going a whole nother direction um so yeah now i don't promote my product as for children because let me tell you why the only reason i don't i don't make it any different than any other bath bomb that children love and enjoy i just want the parent to really know what their child is doing a child can tend to sit in the bath water for too long they can tend to not be aware if something is bothering them Extended use can cause urinary tract infections and such. So every product, you know, everyone somewhere is going, someone somewhere will always have an issue with a product. There's just no getting around that with allergies and issues. But my point is I just want a parent to be careful, look over the ingredients, say, Yep, I'm cool with this for my child and then go with it. Now, the only real difference for that is going to be is in essential oil products because they are, they definitely have usage rates for children and adults. So that's where it would vary is with something like that. But you are free to use my bath bombs for your children. I just don't make them with children in mind. I don't promote them with children in mind and I have the warning label on the back that you as a parent can look it over and decide and decide if you want your child to use it. You can monitor them, their usage, ask them if anything has bothered them, you know, because we just don't want anybody to have any problems. So it looks like I do have plenty of space here. And if I just fit it in between, yeah. Make sure I fit them in between other bath bonds. These are very hard and travel very well. I've thrown one, ones on the floor in testing and they didn't break. Yes, they will dent and they will um, leave some powder and break just a little bit as far as just like breaking, breaking. They're not fragile. While it wouldn't be ideal, if it does break in transit, you still can use it just the same. And just pop all the pieces in. Okay. I'm not comfortable with that one, so let's... We we'll really need to get them into the nook and cranny here. Okay, I think, yeah, that'll do. That will be okay. The main key is to make sure everything is tight. You don't want anything jostling around in the package. This shred makes great packaging for gifts or if you just need some added protection, something you're sending, you can use it as, you know, like a, well, that's probably not a good idea, so I'm not gonna say it. But you could probably use it as fire starter. I guess, I don't know, would not work. I don't have a fireplace, so it'll tell me if that's not ideal. Okay, now I'm going to work on the invoice again for a little bit, and we'll get back to it. Alrighty, so this next order is just going to go into a 9x6x3 box from Uline. I'm probably going to change this box size. Unless I'm shipping international, I'm not using the plastic mailers anymore. So, 
I'm going to probably change this to maybe like a 10 by 6 by 4 possibly. So since I'm not using that padded mailer anymore, I do have to treat these a little bit different. So I'm putting in some protection paper wrap. And the only way I'm really able to do this in this box without being in that priority mailer is because I am shipping mostly cubic rates. I am using Pirate Ship, the app, with my Shopify. Um, you can also, if you have Shopify, you can upgrade to a different tier and you'll get the cubic prices with that. But the Pirate Ship is free and I can use it with just my basic plan. So it does cost me just a little bit more. And of course, this wrap costs in comparison to just being able to put it right into the mailer, which gives it added protection. So it does cost a little bit more. Being eco-minded is not less expensive. It's actually quite a bit more expensive in a lot of cases. So we're trying to do the right thing but it does cost a little bit more to get it done. We also have a chocolate triple milk unscented soap. I just love it. I love what the, um, I love what the cocoa brings to the soap. I'm not having any issues with it bleeding brown, but the lather is not brown for me. However, it may have a little bit of kind of like a brown bleeding in the soap dish type of a thing. So you might have to pay attention to that. Okay, so we have four wax melts. We have the pumpkin souffle. Let's put in a pumpkin pie. I'm going to put that one right there. I'm going to put the donuts face down into the shred and then the souffle on the top. And then this is going to have to just be at a little bit of an angle, but that will be okay. So you can see how everybody's fitting in there. I found a pocket of purple shred. That's fun. Did I show the buttered pumpkin pecan waffle? I don't know. It's just so cute. Smells amazing, too. It's one of my classic scents. Had around for a while. I tweak it a little bit. Um, from the just standard pumpkin pecan waffle scent. Problem with these bakery bags is they just pull out all over the place and drives me nuts. Okay, let's put in a cinnamon vanilla star and let's see what we can do for soap. What do we do? Triple milk? Let's do something fun. Let's, well, natural fun. It's all fun. Let's do regular triple milk. That's a little bit. I don't want them to make an indentation, so I'm trying to be careful. Mark off my list. So this is the size of most orders that I pack. They're not all huge, and they get smaller than this too. We just have a nice range of orders. I'm just going to do closed paper invoices for this one since I can't cover it up with my business card. In with a sticker. I have some new labels and they didn't cut the backer quite as deep, which is fine. I just sometimes can't even see it. just a little bit with the scrub jar in it. This next order is going to be best going in a regional rate box A. I get asked a lot, how do I know 
what to do. It's just years and years of experience. I've been shipping since, um, well, this time. Wow, I wonder what my anniversary date was since this time, 2012. So I've been doing it quite a long time and experience helps a lot. Just kind of knowing how things are going to package, learning about rates, going to different parts of the country. It's just all practice. So the reason why I chose a regional A over a cubic box, because I do have one from the post office, is because it's going to get very heavy and it may bump it into a different rate. I checked it, the regional eight was a great price, so that's what we're gonna do. So, have a cherry blossom. We finally sold out of those with this release. And we have eucalyptus spearmint, which I absolutely adore. It's not so much herby, you know, it's more clean. I could have changed the name, but that's how people tend to know it. We have figgy cream. And what do we got here? Ooh, I have the fun, spooky ones. We'll hold those. Okay, pink grapefruit. This is made with kefir. Homemade kefir. Love that stuff. It's just fermented milk, like a dr drinkable yogurt. That's pretty much what it is with a different range of um, healthy bacteria. And really what it brings to the soap is just creaminess and fun, just similar to putting yogurt in soap. We have strawberry champagne. Oh, I adore that. And it reminds me of Florida when I was freshly married. That was two of those. We have rainbow. I used some new colors from Mad Micas. And they're cool and all, but I will probably tweak them next time. Let's see. And then we have... Bite Me, which is our black and rainbow soap. And I just, I love that little image that I found for it. And this is Dust and Echoes. And I had fun working on that label too. All right, so now I'm gonna take one of these bakery pickup sheets and I'm just gonna lay it right across. See, isn't that nice? Just kinda, mmm, just nice. Okay, so now we're gonna do pumpkin thyme at the bakery, wax melt donuts, and pumpkin souffle, wax melt. And that's that order. So I just realized I did not put a candy corn in the one with the last order. That's kind of sad, but I think it's plenty full, so I better not get into it. I'm going to find, I'd like to find a forbidden fruit sample. Ooh, here we have one of forbidden fruit, and you can kind of see it there in the back. Oh, it's such a great soap. Such a great soap. All right, I think we're going to... Go with that for the most part. I guess I'll put in a triple milk because that's just fun. So this customer took advantage of the free soap deal. You put 10 soaps in your cart. You can get the 10 for free, but you have to put all the soaps in the cart at that time and use the code. You can look over at my little promotions um, page I guess it is and see what that is what the code is that's nice but do you see how it's mm -mm, we're going to fix that yeah, we'll do that that's better alright so let's pack one more I'm going to do a figgy cream. And this one, oh, I had fun with this label. Forbidden fruit. Love it. Here. 
And we have the zombie brew. That one did get listed prior to me putting up the video. I know it ended up being a little bit confusing because I talked about whether I was gonna list it or not, and then at the end I put now available on one of on the picture. But I should have made a note earlier in the video because it confused a lot of people and they didn't realize that Zombie Brew was already listed. So we have Bite Me. And I know a lot of people don't look at the description box that said that it was also available. And we have Dust and Echoes. And I know that is somewhat different per um, how you watch, whether you're on... The computer, sometimes it gives you a preview. Sometimes if you're on your phone, you have to drop drop it down so that you can see what it says. Um, we have strawberry and champagne. I think I will put Dust and Echoes there. And let's see what we can do about, see what, oh my word. Oh, chaos, it's chaos. Oh. My goodness. As of right now, I am planning to come back and do one more video because it occurs to me that I have three on another counter that were specially requested to be in the video and I haven't, have not done those yet. So I guess we'll just have a pot de. All right, so we're gonna put in the bite me now, and the pumpkin pie, and then we do have a figgy cream bath bomb. Awesome. So I'm gonna pop it in a grapefruit kefir, and I think I'll do, let's see, she did dust and echoes. How about we pop in an ember? We'll get her closed up. another awesomely fun package headed out. I just love seeing what everybody chooses. I had this long and skinny one that wasn't really working out for a lot of other things, so we'll just work it in here. Looks like we got to go this way. And I think what I'll do, instead of just um, the picture, I'm going to come back and I'm gonna show you the paper wrap. So this is the paper wrap. So it just comes in this awesome little box. You can see this is that top that I was telling you about. It's very, very thin. And I figure I'll use that for something. And then, here we have, look how much of this roll is left. I mean, I don't know how big the, the well, here's the, so it has a fairly large compared to this. It does have a fairly large tube inside, but I can't really see how much is left. Well, I'm guessing this is like the consistency, like if you go to the doctor and I like pull the paper out, this kind of, <laughs> kind of like that. Um, Anyway, I have a lot, a lot left there. I feel like I'm, hey, how you doing? Okay. Talking to my friend the other day about how it would be so boring to not be goofy because we are both of the goofy variety. And then we just pull out what we need. And I do use a cutter or uh, scissors. I bought a box cutter, but it just kind of grabs. So I just use the scissors. It takes a little bit extra 
to make it work but yeah so that's it all right guys if you hung out to the end i feel like you deserve a award of some of some sort but anyway there we have it chatty long the way you like it i'll talk to you later